Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And yes guys, the big 500 XRP giveaway is still going on. All you have to do on this video is press the like button, be subscribed and comment down below your favorite crypto and you've automatically entered as your comment is your entry ticket. Once we hit 2000 likes within 24 hours on the video, we will give it away so that can be really, really soon. All you have to do is just press the like. All right, guys, Ripple adoption. IBS integrates RippleNet adapter on Swiss root payment platform. Now, I talked about this earlier in some greater lengths, at least in my opinion. However, since a lot of people did not check it out, I'm like, you know what? Let me briefly mention again that this has just happened. And the severity of this is really, really unmatched by most of the partnerships that we've seen in a very, very long while. So I just wanted to mention that this is huge. It's kind of now a way for Ripple to work with Swift, not against them, and finally get away from this kind of taboo of what will ripple and swift be doing in this space how will they be working together or against each other and who will win and all of that since now we know once more it's another confirmation that it's not a ripple versus swift it's a system in which both can win both can benefit from each other and in the end it's just a matter of how we're going to get you know the the main people to hop over into a new system not necessarily you know how are they going to get them over to ripple no how are we going to get people to hop over from their current system to something new. Even though we know the necessity of it is huge, I mean, we've known that for a longer while that, I mean, there's growing concerns for getting things digital and Circle Inc's partnership with BCB Group to meet growing USDC demand from financial institutions. We've also been seeing more and more CBDC actions going on. And that is because governments and banks and all of that want digital things, right? Uh, I've explained to you guys earlier why I think that digital things are so damn nice now one of the parts from it is you don't have to do anything with change right you don't have to do anything with coins if you have a plastic card instead of cash in your pocket you'll most likely spend more but also for the banks themselves it's a lot more transparent it's a lot simpler what is going on you can easily or more easily do your calculations and all of that it's just a very very big plus for for companies on their own which to me is very very logical so a stable coin and everything is just, you know, the dollar, which they already use, but then online, you know, completely just, I guess, kind of, yeah, online. <laughs> yeah, that's the simplest way to put it. I can understand why people would want that. Major fintech firm Circle has partnered with BCB Group to help it improve its infrastructure for efficient use of USD coin for payouts, settlement, etc. New partnership to meet growing demand for USDC, USDC the fastest growing stable coin. BCB Group said, very excited to announce our new partnership with Circle Group or Circle to answer growing institutional demand for USDC, stablecoin payments, clearing, and custody. Now, custody is another part which was very important as of late, as a lot of parties are trying to get into crypto, and banks since the 22nd of July now have the option to provide custodial services or custodian services to um to these to these players is another very big plus for the system as again it adds a lot of a lot of ways to hop on and hop in bitcoin entering new adoption cycle coin metrics executive says bitcoin user adoption looks to be gathering pace as its price rises amid a you know a, a cv induced rush for assets with safe haven appeal Again, this follows all the theories we've been talking about. People right now are not certain of their future. People right now are not certain of their job. People right now are not certain of their currency. People right now are not certain of their government. People right now are not certain of the interest rate or I guess the exchange rate or all that for that matter. People are not certain for a lot of different things. Inflation rate, uh, I guess I should have put it at. So people right now are looking for things that will keep in value. I mean, the housing market, it could hold on, all right? But if a big major crash were to happen, maybe the same, would happen, the same thing would happen like happened in 2008, 2009, where the houses go down like crazy as well. Of course, it's often called a housing bubble, but it could happen, you know? And there's a lot of things which people would normally buy for smaller crises or smaller falls, which you can't really buy right now because, well, there's a good chance they would also fall. So people, of course, are looking for safe havens like gold and other precious metals, but also this time around for crypto. However, it's not just the panic individuals that are doing that. It's the big companies. It's the big, 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 high billion dollar you know, uh, players right now that are doing that as well. It's some of the things we've been talking about lately. 
And a lot of them are also hopping over into XRP and Bitcoin. A lot of them are because those are ones that I guess are a little bit better than a lot of these smaller cap coins. And main reason Bitcoin is, of course, number one for its just inception. I mean, it's been there for the longest. It's the most adopted at this point. However, if we're talking about use case, I would always say that XRP is taking the cake right now as is the most useful and the most practical in that perspective uh, for the higher up coins. The number of addresses that hold Bitcoin of at least $10 worth recently rose to a record high of 16.6 million, according to data from Glasnode. That number is now up 14% from the previous peak at 14.5 million reached in January of 2018, soon after the crypto's all-time high price of $20,000. Essentially, there are now more addresses with small balance than they were seen at the height of the previous bull market. Data suggest a new Bitcoin adoption cycle is brewing, according to Lucas Nuzzi, Network Data Product Manager at crypto data provider Coinmetrics. Address growth is not a precise indicator of Bitcoin's user base because a single individual or entity can hold multiple addresses. So one thing to add there is that it could be one guy changing his billion dollar portfolio or billion dollar wallet to a lot of $10 wallets, right? That could be exactly what's going on. So it's not necessarily that there's more people entering crypto, but it's definitely that more addresses are being made and chances are there's also more people getting into crypto. Ripple partner, uh, Ripple's partner Currency Cloud expands its new pilot infrastructure for fintechs. Ripple's partner or new partner Currency Cloud is expanding its pilot multi-currency wallet infrastructure and has gotten some major companies to sign up for it. Currency Cloud, we've all been excited about it. New product expands after last year's trial. Ripple keeps ex uh, sending XRP away. Now, the company that has recently joined RippleNet, Currency Cloud, has announced the first rollout of its new payment infrastructure for fintech firms and financial institutions. Currency Spark after trials launched last year. The news was reported by Finextra, and new report or product expands after last year's trial. We just said that. As reported by Finextra, such clients as Starling Bank, Remeter, and Transwap have joined this new infrastructure for faster payments for fintechs and for banks, and it allows customers to conduct payments in more than 30 different currencies in almost every part of the globe. With Currency Cloud Spark, fintech firms and financial institutions can set up accounts so that their clients can send, pay out, or receive funds via IBANs or EBANs, international bank account numbers. And Currency Cloud allows all of this to happen by creating a multi-currency wallet for each customer. Over 30 fintechs have already joined the project. Now, another one thing I would like you to do is just type in Ripple payment or things like that into your browser. And a lot of the things that are coming up is going to be pay ID. I think a lot of people right now are forgetting about the potential of that. But when you're asking yourself, you know, can it be that crypto is getting mainly adopted? And then, you know, is there, are there many, many restrictions? Well, don't forget that pay ID is taking away one of the biggest ones there, which is just the whole wallet system, right? It's a big one. I just dropped a, a bottle. But it's one of the bigger ones, but it's being taken away by pay ID. You don't forget about that. Then, update. YouTube is experiencing an aggregus. Bitcoin, uh, you know, hack that no one is fixing. And basically what it's all doing is a lot of these bigger accounts are, you know, getting compromised right now with a 2FA bypass. And basically what's happening at that point on forward, since they're getting 2FA bypassed, is, you know, these accounts with, let's say, for example, 10 million followers, 1 million follower, 200,000, whatever, they normally get quite a lot of views, right, from people just pressing it. But especially whenever they change the name of that channel to something with NASA, they change it to something like that, a lot of people are going to be pressing it. And now I think a lot of viewers are bots. There's still a ton of people who just are like, is this real? Is this real, real, real? And here in the comments, well, somebody said they already made $4,000 profit in a very short amount of time just by sim swapping and guess you know messing up the channel here taking over some channels and then swapping them over john prosser put it on twitter yo the front page tech channel was somehow you know compromised team youtube help channel hacked two of a bypassed live streaming a bitcoin scam to forty thousand live viewers they must have made four thousand dollars so far team youtube tells me i need to form out, fill out the form and wait a few weeks if any actual youtube reps see this please get in contact with me because this is of course very very awful ridiculous yet still going on and i don't know how this can still be this 
heavy. I mean, have you guys also been seeing the, the ads still of these, you know, send me one, I'll give you two back scams? They're so huge, and how can they not be stopped? Is there no simple algorithm that can just be like, if it's so stupid, just block it. I mean, it's such a such an obvious one. And especially when accounts get hacked and all of a sudden they change their channel name to NASA. Maybe YouTube should put something in their algorithm for that. Because they can notice whenever you say a certain name in your video. I mean, there's some easier algorithms for that. But they can also see it when you change your name to NASA, right? Or to Elon Musk or things like that. And they maybe should prevent something along those lines. You know, maybe they should not prevent NASA, the name itself. But to make sure that maybe it needs to be verified first. You know, so you have to wait a day for one of YouTube's people to verify it quickly. Or that you can't live stream uh, for the next coming week or so or something like that or, or anything along those lines, you know, or just some, some regulations in which might make it very, very awful to, I guess, name your account something with NASA. But maybe it's only for a shorter period of time until the real account owner can get it back, you know, because sim swapping is just awful. And I don't know still what you can do against it. I'm going to be looking into that a little bit later because, well, I think it's actually going to be very, very important. And then last but not least... Square's Cash App Bitcoin revenue surges 600% to $875 million in Q2, profit up 711%. Now, one of the main reasons I'm saying that to you guys just right now is because at this point, I'm going to be saying that a lot of these um, apps right now, a lot of these, these cooler apps like Robinhood and a lot of those ones right now, Cash App in this case, that are working normally with dollars, maybe even PayPal and all of those, Piece by piece, and here with Cash App, they did an advertisement on the Joe Rogan show, I believe, right? Piece by piece are going to get advertising out, and piece by piece will be adopting for crypto. And piece by piece will allow a lot of people to buy and sell crypto or, you know, have something to do with crypto, which is going to also accelerate a lot of this main adoption. And that's another part which I'm something thinking about. Has Ripple ever done real, 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 you know, like, just sponsorships or real, you know, um... Like, how can you say it? Like, like, where they promote it? You know, like, have they ever done anything along those lines for XRP? And is that allowed following the security laws? Like, what if they were to want to promote XRP as a company? You know, if XRP2, their subsidiary or subsidiary or whatever, would want that. I mean, I could go ahead and promote XRP if I wanted, right? I'm just saying, you know, this is not financial advice. And I could just promote XRP if I would have want. Could, could they do that? Or is it security then? Or something along those lines? Because, I mean, it doesn't necessarily go as a security, but, I mean since they already have a lot of those issues going on. But I'm wondering, you know, if they want to do, could they do that? Let me know in the comments section down below, right? If they want to do, could they do that? And are they, are they already doing that or no? Let me know. But yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. We learned some new cool things and we, we talked about and thought about a couple of things. I just see here one right now as well, which I might just quickly talk about. University of Tokyo recruiting technical official, officials for XP validator management. I had this open yesterday, but I guess I... I don't know, I closed it somehow without talking about it. But yeah, uh, Ripple's longtime partner of University of Tokyo has announced an opening for the position of technical assistants who will be in the charge of managing the XRP validator over there, which is cool, but not that important. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe, and I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody.